I thought you are. Good morning to you both. Good morning Good to you. Good to see you. Well, hot topic today right now. U.S. Yep. military is preparing right now. Fox News alert. For surveillance flights, drones over Syria to gather intelligence on what is going on. The administration, we're going to take a look. They're going to take a look at all their flip-flopping right now on Where ISIS. Uh, you know, it's well because last Thursday we actually heard that this was more serious, that this was terror times two. Yeah. You know, we actually we understood that this could affect the Western world in a way that we haven't seen before. And then all of a sudden, the president returns from vacation, and yesterday we heard a very different story about ISIL. Yeah, we we were hoping that the president was going to come out with a hardcore uh, plan for a way forward because we hear that vacations are working vacations when you're president of the United States. So he decides that we're going to attack ISIL. We have to be able to start where, it, where the headquarters are. That is in Syria. And to do that, we have to get some intelligence on the ground. A little bit disturbing that we don't have any, but we got to go see where to hit. So we're telling everybody, we're going over with drones to take a look at where to hit. Amongst the people that are upset by this is the Free Syrian Army. They're saying, hey, if you're just going to look at certain places on where to hit, if you're just going to hit us once in a while, if you're just going to try to contain it, you're actually going to be tickling ISIS and doing more harm than good. Well, you know, you talk about the flip-flops with the administration, and Elizabeth, to your point, it does go back last week when uh, General Dempsey was sitting down with Chuck Hagel, our Secretary of Defense, and there they were. They were talking in ap apocalyptic terms about how bad ISIS was, and they made it very clear. If we're going to get rid of them, we've got to go over there. Well, then somebody must have gotten to General Dempsey because then he said, well, you know what? Uh, it's really just kind of a regional threat. Regional? Really? Not really. The President of the United States has even described it as a cancer, which is funny because uh, back in January when he was talking to the New Yorker magazine and David Remnick, he referred to that organization that wants to fly the black flag over the White House as the JV team. Well, Josh Earnest, the President's spokesperson, was asked about that yesterday, that gaffe the President made in January, and he did his best to try to untangle the President. Did it work? Listen. The president was not singling out ISIL. He was talking about the very different threat that is posed by a range of uh, extremists around the globe. Many of them do not have designs on attacking the West or on attacking the United States. And that is what puts them in stark contrast to the goals and capability uh, of the previously existing Al Qaeda core network that was led by Osama bin Laden. That well, is such a load because David Remnick asked the president gotcha. specifically about ISIS. Yeah, and he did, and he talked about that. And I remember when George Bush said, bring it on to what was left of the dead enders. And he later said, hey, you know what? I shouldn't have said bring it on. That was wrong. It's for the administration now to pretend as if they didn't call ISIS the JV while they flew the black flag over Fallujah and later Mosul is flat out wrong. It's a relative insult to people who are paying attention, which I imagine is you. So the, the president of the United States has to look at this group, the, this group that is bringing in $2 million a day right. in oil revenue alone and an extortion in various uh, points in and saying how do we contain them in addition to that a State Department official Thursday estimated 12,000 fighters from 50 countries including 100 Americans have entered Syria to join these radical fighting fighting forces such as ISIL so what we're dealing with here is real we had an yeah. American beheaded across across the world globally on the web and saw witnessed what their intentions are they've stated sure. them clearly across the web you know when you when you hear that that reference back in january to uh, these groups isis as jv yes it's insulting but right now colonel allen west said it's only insulting it's completely idiotic when I listened to those comments made by Josh Ernest, those were inane, incoherent, uh, incompetent, and absolutely idiotic. What Josh Ernest is doing, and the Obama administration is doing, is trying to relegate and define ISIS in a term or a, an ideology that fits into their own national security strategy so they don't have to take an action. So another area we're not even leading, we have found out in the aftermath of our operation in, in Libya where we led from behind and had no plan afterwards and the president even admitted it was a mistake, Egypt and the UAE, United Arab Emirates, have conducted airstrikes in Libya because the extremists have taken over the airport and get it very close, very close to the capital. The UAE and Egypt see this as a threat. They conducted airstrikes in the region and didn't even tell us. That's because, Man. you know why they didn't tell us? They can't trust us. They don't That's trust the us. problem.